Hey there, game makers. How can we create this cool effect where you kind of have, you are blackening out or darkening out the edges of a screen in video games? It's called vignette. And we can do that actually in game maker with just a few mouse clicks in its inbuilt. So it's kind of easy to do. And if you stick around to the end of the video, you will learn two <laughs> completely useless facts uh, about that word. Also, but let's just jump right into it. How can we create? You basically just create a new uh, well, effect, and then at the very bottom you have vignette. And then ta da, here we are. This is the way it goes. Um, kind of easy to do. And then you just have three values, which is edges one and two, and then the sharpness. So let's say you want to have more or less uh, most of the screen here. As you can see, you can even go on negative. Then, as you can see here, a really sharp one. Not the biggest fan of this one. It's very, very strong. And here, um, the last value sharpness is, for example, how uh, well rounded you want to have it. Or at some point, we are getting the egg here. And then at the very bottom, <laughs> the minimum value, we're getting, well, the diamond or whatever you want to call that shape and of course if you use the same values for um edge one and two you can you know have a gradient less so basically a sharp and clean um vignette if you want to use this and of course if you go really small values so let's say something like this you will just have a tiny speck of your screen uh, being visible just as a caveat. So for example here, this is stretching to the whole screen Or the whole room as if in the preview. So don't be alarmed. This is completely normal Because later on if you have a camera, it will just stretch to the camera itself So don't be worried. So this will be restretching. It's not the whole room towards it's towards the camera system where it completely makes sense. So this is the way this goes. And for example, um, I'm definitely more a fan of the more subtle one. As you can see here, these values really, really subtle. So for example, once I restart it. Alrighty, so as you can see, this has a vignette also, but almost not visible. It's, you know, just really, really subtle. It's in there. So this is what most games do. The vignette is in there, but it's really, really soft. And um, this is, for example, used for um, well, atmospheric purposes, mostly. And let's go to <laughs> vignettes. Uh, so, uh, Switzerland, because that actually um, exists also. We are now in territory of useless information. This is the thing which you have a vignette uh, in Switzerland. If you, <laughs> if you have to buy that one, if you want to you know, use their um, highway and it's also being used for what else as a how, how do they call it it's a short standalone writing never knew that so the last two information you can completely forget because it's completely pointless <laughs> i made a video on vignettes this one is a little bit different because i used my own image and created the image so therefore the video is eight minutes but I show you how you can do that manually if you draw in Sprite. The one in Game Maker is more or less based on the shader as far as I remember. So this is a little bit different. Alrighty, that was it then from my side. Have a good one. One up indie.